My mom was actually married at the age of 14, and she had her first child when she was 15. Between the time she was 15 and 33, she had 11 children and two miscarriages. She knew I was different from the rest of my brothers and sisters, and she knew I would not be uh, treated fairly. I would be probably subject of you know, either violence or hatred as a gay man in, in living in Yemen, and she wanted me to just escape. My book is really um, a, a microcosm of life in the Middle East in the last 50 years using my family as a trajectory. It looks at the changes in the Middle East from the sort of the post-colonial era of the 1960s until the Arab Spring of 2011, going through all the different movements from nationalism to extremism uh, to terrorism. But it's also, it's just a family story. It's just a personal story. Um, and it's also a coming out story as a gay man, coming out against against um, it's a, an increasingly politicized Middle East. I'm thrilled that so many people have, have seen the family story and related to it. I think most of my sisters find it very hard that I chose to speak so openly about being gay. Uh, but my nephews and nieces, which the second generation, the generation of the Arab Spring, um, have been overwhelmingly um, enthusiastic and positive and proud of me and so supportive. I never thought I'd live to see the day where one of my nephews tell me, I know I've always known you're gay and I, you know, and I love you for who you are. <laughs>